Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I achieve this look right here. Um, this is like my go-to everyday makeup look when I'm like going out, um, not doing too much, but you know, when it looks, still look cute. So this is what I would go to. This is my mauve pink lip and my nude eyes. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I achieve this look, then stay tuned. So I'm going to start off with a moisturized face and I'm going to go in with my Benefits Professional Primer and I'm going to put this all over my face. And I did my brows off camera already because it takes me a while to get them exactly how I want it to. So I will probably do a detailed video on it. And then I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation in the color Deep 71 and I'm going to blend that in with a damp beauty blender. And then I am going to take my Tarte Cosmetics Flat Top Kabuki Brush and I am going to blend my foundation in even more. And then I'm going to go in with my LA Girls Pro Concealer in the color Medium Beige. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes, um, my chin, down the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. And I don't put any on my forehead, I just use the excess for my beauty blender to do that. And I'm also going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender. And I damp my beauty blenders with my MAC Fix Plus. So I'm just going to blend, blend, blend that in. And you guys, I've literally been blending this concealer for my life. Like, I had to edit a lot of it out because I was blending for a long time, but you get the deal. And then I'm going to set my concealer with my Sasha Buttercup, um, <laughs> with my Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Setting Powder. I'm going to put that over my concealed areas. And uh, this is the first setting powder that I bought and I really, really like it a lot, so. And then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette in the color Espresso. And I'm going to contour my cheeks with my contour brush from e.l.f. And my cheekbones are pretty high already, but you know, who doesn't love a good lift? <laughs> And then I'm going to go in with my angled blush brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to blend my contour out. And then I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm going to bronze up my forehead and over my contour a little. And this bronzer smells just like chocolate, you guys. It smells so good. And then I'm going to uh, brush away my setting powder with the same angled brush that I used. And then I'm going to go back into my Anastasia uh, contour kit with the color Espresso, not Espresso, I'm going to go in with the color Nutmeg and I'm going to use that as a blush. And I really like the peach colors for blush right now, so that's the color and the look that I was going for. And then I'm also going to take my ColourPop blush in the color Quarters and I'm going to brighten up my cheeks even more with my Elf Stippling brush.
And then I am going to set all of this in with my Kat Von D powder foundation and I'm going to use a flat um, powder brush from e.l.f. And I'm just going to set everything. And I am in the color um, Deep 74. And then I'm going to go in with my Benefit Cosmetics um, liquid highlighter in the color Sunbeam. And I'm going to blend that in with my Beauty Blender. And I really like to use this under my powder highlighter so it just makes it pop even more. And then I'm going to go in with my Laura Geller highlighter in the color Gilded Honey. And I just bought this highlighter a couple weeks ago. And I've been using it every day that I do my makeup. Like, it is the bomb. I love this highlighter so much. And then I'm just going to put some on the tip of my nose. Um, Cupid's bow, all that jazz. Then I'm going to go in with my Carity Eye... No, I'm not. Okay. I am going to prime my eyes with my NYX eyeshadow base. And I don't know the name of this brush, but I'm going to just blend this in all over my eyes. And now I'm going to go in with my Carity eyeshadow palette. Oh. <laughs> Hey, one of my eyeshadows fell out of the palette, but it's all good. I'm going to go in with the color Birthday Suit, and I'm going to put that color all over my lid. And this company is a new company, and they have amazing eyeshadows, you guys. Like, their eyeshadow is definitely comparable to MAC. It's so pigmented. Um, you don't even need to use primer on your eyes for this color to show up. Um, I really like this eyeshadow a whole lot. So I've been using this, and I'm just going over my lids with the e.l.f. brush. I'm not sure of the name. And then I'm going to go in with the color Unspoken, and I'm going to blend that into my crease and my outer V. And with this um, shadow, I just use a little bit at a time because if you just dab this blending brush into the color, it'll show up like a whole lot and it's going to take a long time to blend it out. So I just do a little bit at a time. I just blend that into my outer V just to darken it up a little bit. And I'm going to keep blending that color in. And then next, I'm going to go in with this really pretty color um, by the name of Stargasm. And I'm just going to put that into the inner corners of my eye and under my waterline. And then I'm going to go back in with that color um, Unspoken and I'm going to put that under my waterline as well. And I had to switch brushes because that brush just wasn't working for me so I had to use the same brush that I used the first time and blend that brown color out.
And then next I'm going to just clean up my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And I am in the color Deep Brown. And not deep brown, I'm in the color dark brown. And I'm just going to clean up my eyebrows from any mess ups from like my foundation and stuff. So. And then I am going to highlight under my brows with my Gilded Honey Highlighter by Laura Geller. And um, I did my wing liner offline, offline, off camera, because um, I have not mastered it yet all the way. And it takes me a very long time to do that. So I did it off camera. And I am just going in with a black eyeliner from e.l.f. And then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I have not mastered putting on uh, lashes yet, so I just have to work with what I have right now. Um, maybe in future videos I will have had mastered putting on falsies. So right now, just gotta work with what I got. Um, I'm going to also put this on my bottom lashes as well. And I have pretty long lashes anyway, so I think I'm good. <laughs> and for the lips, I am going to go in with my favorite brown liner by NYX. And I'm going to line my lips with this liner. And I have to sharpen it because it had a lot of like lipstick all over it, so. I'm going to line my lips with this brown liner and I combined three colors to get this lip color, well four including the liner, to get this lip color. It's one of my favorites. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC lipstick in the color Cosmo and it's really pinky like a mauve color, so I'm going to blend that in. And then I'm going to go in with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color London. I'm gonna put that over that. And then I'm going to go in with another NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Abu Dhabi, and I'm going to go over that color. And then I'm going to go back in with my brown liner again just to darken it up a little bit. And that's it for my lip color. It's my favorite lip color of all time. Literally, <laughs> I wear it all the time. And then I'm just going to go in with my MAC Fix Plus. And that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial.